What is a cookie? Has this ever happened to you? Let's say you go to a website that requires you to log on with a username and password, but you notice this remember me checkbox. What happens if we check this checkbox? We log on normally and then when we are done, we close the browser tab or window we are using. But then you decide to go back to the same website. But this time when you return, we see that we are already logged in. We didn't need to give our username or password this time, even though we completely closed that window. That's where cookies come into play. A cookie is a small text file from a website that stores your information like your login details, your preferences, or even your browsing history on the local computer to improve your browsing experience. A cookie is usually a small piece of data that is stored on a user's computer. When the user visits the website again, the cookie is sent back to the server. This allows the website to remember things about the user such as their preferences or login information. Cookies can also be used to track a user's browser behavior and collect data for analyzing or advertising purposes. They are typically stored as a text file and can be deleted or managed through a web browser settings. These are sometimes referred to as HTTP cookies or internet cookies. Cookies can store a user's login credentials, such as their username and password, so you don't have to enter them each time you visit a website. This information is typically encrypted for added security. You can store your preferences and themes settings, such as your preferred language, font size, color scheme, etc. This allows the website to remember and apply these settings when you return to the website. Cookies can store information about products that you have viewed on an e-commerce website. This information can be used to provide you with personalized recommendations or to deliver targeted ads that they think you might be interested in. While you are busy shopping online, cookies store information about the items that you have added to your online shopping cart. And cookies can store specific interests like the types of products or services that you are interested in. This information is also used to deliver targeted ads or personalized content that is specific just for you. But while cookies can be useful tools for your website browsing experience, they can pose a threat to your online security and privacy. The website operators themselves could mishandle the information in your cookies by not having them properly secured and not encrypting the information correctly or making it hard to decipher. Third-party cookies can pose a danger because they can track your browser's behavior across multiple websites, potentially collecting sensitive information. They can also be used to deliver targeted ads which you may not want or these ads can be malicious. And cookies can also be accessed by unauthorized parties if your computer is compromised by malware or a phishing scam. This can allow an attacker to steal your login credentials or personal information. So what can you do to protect yourselves from the potential dangers or to manage your cookie settings? You can do this by going to your browser settings and then look for any option related to privacy or security. And there you should see options like clearing your cookies, but this can disrupt your whole browsing experience and require re-entering login information or starting over on a shopping cart or losing useful browsing history. You can also go to specific cookie settings in the browser where you can change specific settings, especially with regard to third-party cookies or even listing websites that you want to restrict and which ones you want to allow. Sometimes when you go to a website, you'll receive a message like this one. If you're concerned about online privacy and tracking, you may want to reject cookies or change your cookie settings to block third-party cookies. But if you want to maintain your personal preferences and settings on the website, you can accept the cookies. Speaking of cookies, I want to go grab some now as all this talk is making me hungry. If you need to know about a computer term and we haven't done a video on it yet, then let us know in the comment section. Leave a like, subscribe, we'd love to hear from you and follow us on TikTok as well. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.